Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a quick video just to show you something I discovered recently. There's some of it I already knew, but there's some stuff I haven't come across before. Which is, if you get a brush, say the paintbrush tool here, and we come over here, here we've got something to paint. Now then, if I have Control and Alt, and click on the left mouse button, if I don't see anything from here, here I've got two circles. I knew about this before, but it's you worth doing. And if I click on the left mouse button and go upwards, then the middle one goes smaller, which is the hardness being adjusted. And if I go left to right, then the outer one, which, which is the overall width. So it's adjusting these two up here, the width up here and the hardness there. So it's quite useful when you get there. This works, by the way, for a left-handed person, which I am. If you're on the PC, you hold down the control and the Alt GR on the right-hand side. This works as well. So, what else is there like this? Well, if you hold down the that Alt and uh, uh, Control again and click the mouse button again whilst you're here, just once with a click, it's changed. Look at this. What the heck is this? Well, it says there's shape 100% and spacing 13%. So, if I hold down the left mouse button now and just move it about here, you can see that it's changing. So if I go downwards, in other words, back towards me, those circles are spacing out. And if I go left to right, then well, as I go left, it gets smaller and it's right, it gets bigger. So this is about the things you get up here. If I go to more on this, spacing changes the how often the blobs are placed down like this. And the other one was shape, which is this one here, which changes, if I push this up a bit there, so you can see it's a bunch of circles. If I change that, it changes to these. So it lets you do those. And what it lets you do effectively is, if I just do that again, see it comes back to where it was, so that's Control-Alt. Click on this. There we go, just click around in circles if necessary. Click and hold. If I go to that one and push away from me, so it's up together, so I've got the spacing is low. That means when I do this, it's kind of like an italic brush. And in fact, if I push it left completely, then it's a line, so I can do that kind of stuff. So, so Control Alt again, click and hold. And turn right, and then I've got myself a round one. Click and hold, and push, pull towards me. And I've got more spacing, so it's going blob, 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 which is good if you're painting um, some sort of brush that's in a shape like a bird or something like that, and you're sort of dropping birds all over the place. Okie dokie. So what else is there? And that is the third one. If I hit Control Alt again and click on the left mouse button, now I've got a circle, but with a blue line on it. Now then, if I click and hold that button and turn around, you can see there that blue line is going around. And this is particularly if you're going to... So this is the rotation of it. So if I go... Um, Control Shift, click once again, see it cycles through the three of them. So I get to this one. And then I push towards me, so I got the push away from me, so I got that. Then pull it in, so I got a narrow thing, so I'm doing like this. Now then, if I control alt and click again, now then if I click press and hold, and I can see I can rotate that. So if I want to do an italic at, a, at an angle like that, I've got it like this. So this is particularly for if you're using brushes in these things. It's a very quick way of changing through those three things. And again, I just go Control alt click once, and it's back to the, the hardness and the opacity. So if I Control alt click again, I can bring it out to be a circle. Um, so I can back to my more normal brush, and then I can paint away. But the one certainly I still use the most of is the first one, which is hold down alt GR and uh, control on the right or alt and control on the left and I can just change the size of the brush and how hard or soft it is just by holding down the left mouse button 
and pushing up and down or left and right. Anyway, that's it, and thank you very much for watching.